What's up, YouTube? Uh, it's Sunday. It's 4.20 p.m. here in Central Standard Time. Uh, pretty appropriate time of day there, isn't it? Uh, I, think, I would think so. Uh, yeah, we've got a, a little special for you guys. Uh, not our normal program, but kind of, maybe a little bit. Uh, so uh, Mike and I are here with y'all. We're going to uh, check out um, a little demo as a, as a kind of an, uh, an aside to what we're doing here uh, today. This is the Melt Away Hunger giveaway announcement. Uh, you guys, we're going to uh, throw up a graphic here in a second, and you guys are going to get all the info of how you can enter to win a torch level ticket to melt. Uh, Eastcoastmelt.com is the website that you would need to check out, like what maybe melt is. Maybe you're unfamiliar somehow. I don't know how if you watch Torch Talk, you probably right. know all about it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm here with my my right-hand man, Mr. Mike Mason. What, what? And uh, there he is. There he is with the HBO shirt on. That's nice. right, Reppin. Reppin shout outs to the HBO homies. Constant yeah. streams of oxygen molecules provided by HBO. I love it. Yeah. Uh, also yeah, rocking Mike the gassed hat, though, you know, keeping it real for my DIYers out there. You know? There you go. Yeah. A little bit of both worlds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's up? It's good to be here with y'all. Um, yeah, Mike Mason Glass on the Instagrams and uh, Mike Mason on Facebook. So, yeah. And. Um, Yep. We were at we were at Melt last year. Um, before we talk about the giveaway, I'll talk about what we're going to see in a second real quick. Uh, we were at Melt last year, and Salt did some amazing stuff. Mike was in the right place at the right time and was able to get some video of Salt doing an eye pendant demo. So we're going to get to watch that uh, as just a bonus, guys. This isn't our normal Torch Talk episode. This is just more of a uh, of a hey. Uh, you know, here's what we're doing kind of thing. Yep. And so uh, before we get into the demo, Mike, let's talk about yeah. uh, the little giveaway that Kevin Beecher and, and Torch Talk, I guess, is doing here. Yeah. Yeah. The well, Melt guys, anyway. All yeah, them. all the Melt guys, man. Kevin Beecher, all Todd them. Dunlap, Josh Mazze, Sean Gold, Paul Catherman. Mm -hmm. uh, am I leaving anybody out? Is there like a secret Melt partner we don't know about? I don't know. There's, and there's so many <laughs> uh, like interns and behind the scenes helpers that make this thing just a, it, it was like one of the best events i've ever been to not even a glass event just like one of the best events i've ever been to it was so yep. so was much tight. fun man but yeah um the giveaway homies uh as you can read basically every five dollars you give to feeding america which if you're not familiar they're an awesome organization extremely highly rated on charity navigator just legit and um Every five dollars donated to them is an, a chance to win, and currently we're at um. Let me pull up the exact figure here. I closed it at some point, but um, we're oh, we're nearly at seven thousand meals. I can tell you guys that right now. Um, I'm bringing up the exact number. Six thousand four hundred and ninety meals is what we've generated so far. Um, this ends tomorrow at midnight. So if you guys have been sleeping on this, now's the time. Don't don't mess up. Um, yeah, I, the math is kind of simple here, man. We haven't even filled a hundred slots. It's like I'm, there's no big deal. I mean, it's kind of limited to the people who can actually make it to this thing or whatever. So I don't mean it like that. It's just to say that right now your odds of winning this thing are about like a billion times better than they'll ever be on a lottery ticket or you know traditional giveaway. Um, shit's tight. Um, if you enter, I shouldn't type. I apologize. I'm sorry. I just realized that if I type, it's going to be oh, loud on the keyboard. So I apologize. Uh, no <laughs> stress. Um, but yeah, so it's pretty pretty cut and dry. Uh, you donate directly to Feeding America. We prefer that you use this link at the bottom because there's like a campaign. Uh, Tony, what's his name? Um, Tony Robbins, I think he's like Robbins. matching your donations. Yeah, Tony yeah. so it's like we like to take advantage of that sort of thing, man, because um, it doubles the amount of meals and all that. But anyways, yeah, um, you're gonna get a thank you email from them from Feeding America. Just forward that to TorchTalk at gmail .com. We'll enter you, and you get an email back. You know, like, hey, you're in. And yeah, it's pretty simple. Um, you know, we we're kind of figured we wanted to do something. We wanted to make you guys do something cool to, do, to get into this thing, um, and this is what we came up with. I got to give Will some credit here. I had a much more ridiculous idea, and in the end, he was like, "Let's just do feeding." Oh, no, it's a great idea. Like, man. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a great idea, but we're gonna and we're gonna use it in the future. I bet you anything. Yeah, so. yeah. This the response to this will gauge our ability to do the more ridiculous idea. 
but I don't know. It was like, if it went bad, it, it was going to be real bad. So it was like, nah, let's just not roll the dice here. Anyways, um, uh, that I just wanted to make sure everybody, I know not everybody's in the group or had a chance to hear about this. Um, we didn't have all the details in line last week. So, um, but yeah, I won't keep you all much longer on that. Let's, let's go ahead and get this party popping on uh, some footage. Yeah, let's do that. And we'll be talking about the giveaway spectacular, or the particulars, I should say. Yeah. Uh, as we as we go through this. Yeah, if anybody has any questions about that, just, you know, drop them in the chat or let us know. Okay, so <laughs> this, guys, I'm not, like, trying to, like, have that, like, Ovaltine moment or whatever, but uh, this is actually an <laughs> ad that I made for the Melt guys to play at their booth at the Michigan Glass Project. So I just thought it would be a fun way to start this thing off because it gets lets you see the lineup and such and the dates and... Not trying to like cram an advertisement down your throats, but yeah. Look, and there's look. been a few uh, extra names, I think, as well. Yeah, um, there have been. Yeah, they just added um, what's his name with the project uh, thing, the starship. JD uh, Mapleson. No, no. Well, JD, right. yeah, Project uh, Thirty Three oh, or okay, whatever, absolutely. right? No, no. But I mean, um, also, I mean, uh, Marcel Braun. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah, he's coming out, man. Um, yeah, the, the the starship is going to be in full effect. So, I don't yeah. know if you, did you uh, did you put Ethan Windy in here as well, or was is he a newer I, I newer addition? I think he was in in this thing. Griffin in the house. Okay. Griffin. Yeah. <laughs> good, Scott Griffin. Scott. Yeah, he's a good dude. Yeah, he's fun, man. I like him a lot. But yeah, oh, um, yeah. Look, we'll jump right into this salt eye demo. Um, this eye pendant. Basically, Salt rolls around with a giant Ziploc bag full of eyes that are already made. And uh, he's going to go ahead and, and make this kind of a pendant with some sculptural spikes and, and a bunch of eyes on it. I'm going to start by condensing back, excuse me, this rod. Knowing him, it's probably like just the right amount of black over clear or something you know <laughs> this dude is like yeah he's hyper efficient and just intelligent about material and all that sort of thing and yeah i threw in um some of the other footage of pendants that that were in the earlier episodes i went ahead and threw those on the end so if some of you guys are like whoa what's all this you know like if you're not really haven't had a chance to to watch the melton episodes we have two of those up and there's just absolutely incredible flame working with micah evans and all these guys just murdering it in this tent with like 100 people flame working at once but um awesome stuff man yeah i figured melt something. is an incredible experience yeah I figure for those who have, you know, maybe joined our audience in the past year or so, they didn't get a chance to see that stuff, and it's not that long, but I did add some some of the other salt action. That's Jeremy O'Keefe there on the right, you guys. He actually won the giveaway on Torch Talk last year, and later in this episode, I did include some footage of uh, a collaboration that he and Salt did together. I thought that was really neat. So if you donate five dollars, that could be you. Mm -hmm. Not just kidding, but no, I mean it probably would be though. It's it's not to be all like, oh, you'll get to collaborate with da da da. But it's like these people are all straight chilling, and you know, and if y'all get to talking and have an idea, you know, like it, it it may very well go down. And all of these people were very humble. It wasn't like oh, I mean, salt was throwing eyes on everything. Yeah, you know, man, he was doing yeah. class with everyone in the room, basically. It was awesome. Yeah, and to be clear, I think he's teaching at Corning during Melt, so he's not going to be there this year, but uh, that's what all these dudes were like, and I'm going to hand you Sheen, like, a freaking box of prep, basically, and see what happens. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but like... <laughs> Here you go, you Sheen. Yeah. No, you sh Use this, baby. <laughs> Let's do that collab. <laughs> And it's really cool to kind of see, you know, because you could you could wander around this room at Melt uh, and, and just, you know, there was just one badass after another in there. And, you know, you got Micah Evans and Micro just down the road here, you know, right, like right next to Salt, basically. Uh, 
Well, Mike, and, Mike I mean, Rowe was, was across from Micah Evans. Yeah, they they both like shared a table. It was yeah, cool because right. actually like you could you could watch both of them at the same time really easily. You know? And it was fun. They were just kind of working towards each other. Uh, yeah, and those guys were really cool. Both of those guys were, and like Mike said, real approachable. These guys are. You know, they're not like. Uh, they're not like Aerosmith, you know. Even though to us, they're you know we they we hold them in high regard, of course, because mm-hmm. they're fantastic artists. But they're you know they they they're humble people and they're they're really chill. And Melt was it, everyone was like that. It was fun, you know. It was just a good vibe the whole way around, and uh, it's good times, man. Yeah, can't wait for this year. I'm not saying that's necessarily how it's going to be with these people everywhere. You know, you catch them at like sure. a show with a bunch of collectors there, and some of these cats mm-hmm. are kind of weird, you know. Mm-hmm. And but here in an environment where it's just a bunch of flame workers kicking it together, having a great time, you know, like that's the environment where those guards come down a little bit. You know, you get a chance to talk to those people who mean you know so much to you. Like the before melt even started that first night, man, we got there a little early and we're we're just sitting by the campfire and then Micah Evans wanders up and me and him talking for like half an hour. Like what the f- this is this thing hasn't even yeah. started yet and it's already surreal. <laughs> that was cool, man. And then yeah. Scott Griffin comes up and starts talking to me. I was like, oh well, shit, you know, yeah. this is crazy. It was even more was surreal. I probably told this story on the show before, but man, I, I like I wandered off to go use the bathroom or something at one point, and I come back and Will's got the laser pointer out. And he's got like <laughs> all these like incredibly famous, some of the best artists alive, and they're all sitting around the campfire, and he's just pointing at all these constellations and doing his Neil deGrasse Tyson thing. And I'm not kidding, this went on for like 30, 45 minutes, dude. Like everybody was fucking fascinated, yo. Like it's like. Hell yeah, Will. It's do good you, to see that thing. too, man. Like, I love to share that kind of stuff with people, you know, and it's good that people are interested in space because, you know, it's, it's, I think it's part of who we are, this universe. So, we're all stardust. We are all the same. <laughs> billions and billions of dead star particles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah, that was fun, man. That was a great time meeting meet all those people and it's you know it's going to be like uh, almost like a family reunion this time you know everybody kind of collecting back in on the same place the same vibe the same we all know the lay of the land now we all know what's going to happen mike and i you know going into this thing had really no idea what we were going to like what was going to be possible what we you know where we were going to be and how now we kind of have a way better idea so i think the content we get this year will be even more spectacular yeah, um, I've I've even learned how to focus that camera. Yeah, I'm just getting the videos a little blurry right there. <laughs> I was like, I just thought it was my feed because <laughs> I'm on my cell phone here. Like, no, no, was, the camera was really new. This was like its first big outing, and mm. over the past year or so, I've really gotten much more comfortable with it and know exactly how to. No more of this autofocus business. I I know how to get that thing where it needs to be, quickly. But um, I will add. I will. You know, like I don't want to um talk too much about what salt's doing man this dude is on his own level with it but i did want to comment here a little bit about the his style of sculpting these attachments and stuff and just just a little bit of theory you'll probably notice this as though like he lays down that pink color first i think he's um and then he kind of lays down the creamier color or whatever uh, to make his attachment and that's the same methodology for like laying down a row of teeth or um Mm -hmm. you know the all these body parts they all kind of start with that and that's just sort of what you're seeing there now he's sculpting it with the little hollow end on the sofietta Mm. yeah just add. i couldn't tell what that was at first that's awesome yeah that's what that is just adding a little texture and then guys you know i made it i I commented in in the group post about this but there's something coming up really neat um Salt does the the bail on this in a way that I've never seen done before, actually, and I didn't even notice it until today. Like I was there live, and I've you know watched this footage before, but I caught it today. I was like, wait a minute, what the fuck did he just do to that bail? And <laughs> it's pretty interesting. I've ne- I've never may- maybe somebody out there is like, oh, we used to do that all the time, you know, whatever. But I, I I've never seen it done this way precisely, and basically he pulled out a post. And then he added another post ahead of it and kind of curved that post back to the first one and then kind of cooked them together and reamed it out. And uh, you'll have to make your decisions for yourself, but it, it looked like it was really fast and clean and consistent, and it's something I, that I want to try. 
See, so he pulled that thing out to the taper that he wanted for the back post, and then he's just going to add another post. And like I said, curve it back and then cook it in. And this isn't the craziest, you know, piece of work by salt standards, but I really think that this moment here where he does the, the, uh, the loop in this totally different way, man, is like, oh, shit. Okay, so here's, see that? He left that first nub on it, and then he adds the second, and he's going to pull it back and curve it back onto that nub. I mean, we've done, like, the shepherd's loop style. We, You know, we've done all these different styles you know, here on the show, but this, I've, I've seriously never yeah. seen anybody do it quite like this. And... And look at that. See, Pretty like, cool. a, as he's grabbing his tool, he's cooking those things together. Like, salt is incredibly efficient. You can learn a lot by watching the way this dude works. Absolutely. I learned so much watching him work, and I didn't really get all that much of a chance to do that, to be honest. I was, you know, here and there, shooting video, whatever. Uh, but the moments that I did, I mean, I was just like, oh, damn, I never even thought about doing that, you know? Like, I never even... yeah. That never even entered my brain, and this guy's already, he's like, yeah, just do this for fun sometimes, you know, but he's, you know, he's been in the game a while, so that's what happens. Yeah. He's a great artist. I think Forward he's just, thinker. yeah, I think he's, yeah, a thinker is exactly what he is, man. He's really, like, all the ways that he works, like, there's a, there's mm -hmm. a reason for it, and yeah, he's yep. very, very, no very, wasted very, movements. Very, yeah, he's like one of the dudes who really does. Not to say that anybody doesn't. It's just like he deserves every bit of it, man. For real, like he's 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 really fucking good. Absolutely. All right, and here, man, I thought I'd surprise you with this one. Will check that shit out, baby. It's the chain. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Yeah, I don't know if you. I I don't I I don't remember if we played any of this before. So I but I found it, and here it is. And yeah, so I basically, don't remember if we played um, this or not. yeah. What was that dude's name? Remind me again, Will. Is it Max? I I, think? Max, yes, that's it. I knew it was Last something with him. Max. Yeah. yeah, he did this chain, and everybody made uh, chain links for the chain at Melt, and this was Will's chain with with the DNA in it that he's putting together there. It's a little bit of Will Young action in the house. Yeah, that was fun, man. Uh, Topher Glass was gracious enough to let me use his torch, and so I got on there and made a, a DNA. I wasn't too comfortable... Uh, obviously, you know, going from a Red Max to a uh, the GTT is a little bit, you know, it's different, but I made it happen, you know, and I got a piece done, and so uh, Max was kind enough to uh, add it to the add it to the chain link, which was that was really cool for you know somebody that didn't even uh, get you know a torch level ticket or whatever, you know, I was still able to jump on a torch because I had a buddy who was like, dude, do it, you know. Basically, Mike and I had you know Topher was like, anytime I'm not here, y'all can jump on it, which I thought was really cool. We never really had time to. I think Mike, you got on it a couple of times there, but uh, yeah, for like ten you know. seconds. I mean, I brought we a torch busy. and like we could have set one up, but yeah, no, it was like yeah. they brought us there to share that thing, and bring us there. Mm -hmm. But you know what I mean? Like that's why we were there, and I'm pretty proud of being able to capture all the stuff we were able to capture. And this year, man, you know that was just like the beginning. This year, it's man, I really I feel like all the pieces of this puzzle are in place, and. We're gonna be able to to capture so much incredible stuff. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be quite the ordeal. Absolutely. Yeah, but I'm really looking forward to it. It's gonna be great. Um, ah, man, it's like a okay. Now this I left the audio in. All right, so I left the audio in there. I just wanted y'all to be able to hear the gong. Sorry yeah, if that was louder was than the rest cool, of the show. I'm not sure. It was a cool moment, man, to ha you know, because you hear that thing go off every once in a while, and you'd know that that was a successful piece that was put in the kiln, you know? Yeah. And that was really cool. There was collabs going down, and just, this was a really cool vibe, man. Yeah. Um, and I just saw that crazy stuff in the kiln. I just thought that was a really cool snippet. So, um, And then, yo, here, this is yeah. uh, Rocco. Rocco Beloso, I believe. Um, everybody, most of the people who appear in this are in the description. His Instagram is below. But check this out: the sick ass Mario Sherlock, and 
Uh, this is just a quick clip, but you can learn a lot just by looking at the way he has it bridged up and how he's going about putting the heat into it and blowing it out. Um, it's like, nope, that's that's full sun. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 a problem at Melt when you got that many dudes flame working, you know, you got a lot of full kilns. And yes, that's right. we were just mentioning Topher Glass earlier. Here's the homie. He's doing some pretty cool sculpting. Mm-hmm. Does some awesome ram heads, and uh, he's been integrating that into his his work as he goes. And, yeah, it's been really cool to watch the progression on his stuff, man. Yep. Even from just last September, right here, you know, uh, seeing what he posts on Instagram and all that. He's, he's working it, man. I love it. Yeah, a lot of eye action in this. So he's got that other eye over there. I think we're going to see him actually lay the uh, stringers over it or whatever the way that he's doing. And then he's and it, it's almost backwards because it would be better to see him do the, the laying first and then the carving. But that's what it is, man. My Stanley Kubrick over here. So <laughs> that might be a good thing. This might be shot from like under the table upside down. Yeah, or yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need a 40, JJ Abrams had a hand in it. 40 foot dolly. Will that be available, guys? <laughs> yeah. We need a jib, a massive jib, too, please. <laughs> well, guys, we are doing uh, all of this footage for a reason. That's because we're giving away a torch level ticket to melt. That's right. Um, on Tuesday. And Tuesday night, yeah, we're going to give it away live on the show. So you've got to have your entry in by Monday at midnight, okay? Um, okay. Go to feedingamerica.org, give them $5, and every $5 you give them, that's one entry into this, uh, can we call it a sweepstakes? Or, I don't know. I don't know, but um, yo, don't go to right to Feeding America. Use the donation that's right, yeah, link the, that's in the description. Um, the donation link yeah. there takes you right to that campaign where the, the meals are doubled. So that that's preferable. But um, – yeah. yeah, and if it, for some reason it doesn't, you can always uh, just go to the site. Um, you know, whichever use the link though, because that Feeding America will basically take your money and double it, right? And uh, sometimes they'll even triple it. It just depends on the time of year and what promotions they got going on. Mike had to search pretty hard to find uh, that double down thing. Yeah, which basically every dollar you donate, they're gonna match you. Yeah, uh, which I think is awesome. You know, and. We like feeding people here. We've we've done it. Oh man, how many times, Mike? Just so many, and it just it you know it makes you feel good, you know, because we are impacting the world in a positive way just by giving away a torch level ticket to this incredible glass blowing event right here yeah. uh, that you're seeing footage for. Uh, this is the main torch tent, and uh, Mike, they had what ninety two torches basically in this facility so. right here. Yeah, next year's going to be even better. They've bought, like, newer tents, and they're going to connect them in a different way. There's going to be, like, way over 100. It's going to have mm -hmm. a better ventilation setup. This year was, you know, it was good, but there was, like, a really muggy day where, like, the air just wasn't moving like it should have in that tent. And, you know, it wasn't, like, noxious, but it probably wasn't the coolest thing. This year, man, like, the tents are set up in, like, a way that they can straight draft right down them, you know, so there's just constant fresh air flooding past, and mm -hmm. yeah, it, it, it's uh, it's gonna be even better, man. It's, it was it was something to see. It really was. Um, yeah, I don't, a sight to behold. Yeah, I, I don't wanna just, like, spoil any surprises or anything, but let's just say it's gonna be it's gonna be something special. It's gonna be one for the books literally Absolutely. trust me the food was incredible and if you're still considering going to melt there may still be room for you to get in i don't know i know that they had a few uh a few tickets left i think they yeah. sold out of the torch level tickets I but i don't want to too yeah i don't there were wanna... like there were six left like two weeks ago yeah so, so they're if of... there are any more there might you know you, you'd be lucky to get in maybe but i would still try if you're in interested in it you know yep. but uh but yo, um, yeah, maybe torch level. It, you know, that is what it is. But uh, spectator level is only eight fifty, and it includes everything but a torch spot. And if you have a homie there, you know, you're more than welcome to jump on theirs. And honestly, yo, like the classes in the demo hall are basically classes with some of the best all day and night. 
And so we're talking like Yushin and Z and all these incredible people are going to be doing essentially classes. So it, if you if you're there for more of an educational type of thing, it the spectator pass is the best deal in the universe. Like eight fifty for a week of classes with the best includes lodging in a cabin, and food, all yeah. your food. Incredible. Just, just get there. Value. It's tight. And yo, speaking of yo, this is Gonzo Glass Gonzo. right here. He actually is doing his own giveaway that I think ends in about a week. Um, I'm not certain on the details on that, but if you go to his Instagram, which is linked below, you'll see it. It's like, and he's doing a full ride. If you win his, yeah. like, there he'll cover your plane ticket. Like, some dude in Australia is gonna win, and he's gonna be like, no, <laughs> be terrible. ouch. But no, that's awesome. Uh, Gonzo is. Uh, an incredible glass artist, man. Yeah. I mean, Mike got a little shot of his stuff there toward the beginning, and you can just see the work this guy does is just absolutely stunning. I mean, it's just consistent and good. It's it's fantastic. Yeah. Um, and he's such a generous guy, too. Such a nice guy, so approachable, uh, very friendly, very energetic. You know, I mean, he just has an energy about him. And um, to do that, to, to pay for someone's torch level ticket and their – airfare and travel expenses i mean that is just i mean that's incredible man and that that kind of shows you know it's a reflection of the guy's character and, and who this guy really is you know he's he's really a generous and uh and giving guy and i think that's really cool man he was he's a great guy to hang out with too yep yeah real pleasure kicking it with this guy we ran into him again out in vegas that was real nice yeah yeah, but there you saw me added this attachment. Looked like an air trap or something. I don't know. But yeah, he bridged it right off that last punny to the blow tube. And now he's cooking that thing in. This is what he was doing the whole time. Just posted up in his zone there, cranking out sick tube after sick tube. And then every now and then you'd see him pop up at someone else's station doing a sick ass collab. Yeah, he did a lot of collabs. That was cool, man. I like Gonzo's use of color, like a fume, the way he he sculpts things and, you know, like the way his symmetry is really good. You know, he, he's got, you know, if, if something's on one side, it's got like something on the other, kind of like this marble in the joint, you know. And uh, if you look around the table, there was there's pieces that have many, many attachments on them. Um, and it's just it's cool to see how he goes about attaching all that stuff. And as glass workers, you know, we all reverse engineer everything. Um, and so you're, it, he, some of his stuff will make you wonder, though. You kind of kind of look at it and you're like, whoa, how did, you know, what, what did he do there, you know? So Gon I got a lot of respect for Gonzo. I mean, he's a really cool dude. Yeah, he's the man. James Reed asks, is this one a full ride? Hell no. <laughs> nope. No, dog. Nope. 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 We are not balling like, like Blake. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> no, we but uh, we wish. Yeah, yeah, no, but it's co it's your torch level ticket. We're talking like eleven hundred dollar value here. Incredibly generous of the melt dudes to to put this on the table. I mean, look, homies, let's 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 not bullshit. All y'all know about melt because we don't shut the fuck up about it because it's such a good time. You know, you can't mm -hmm. buy me, man. But with something like this, I'm happy to tell the world about. And it's like they didn't need to do this. They already did these ones, these other ones. This this really was just just them because they have mad love for our community, and it is just so nice of them. And uh, yeah, man, huge thanks to the Melt guys for making it possible to 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 bring somebody else in. Like mm -hmm. I said, man, um, Jeremy, I know I had such an, a magical time last year getting to meet these people and collaborate. You guys will see that that footage actually shortly of of him and Salt finishing that one up. It's uh, and it was know, actually so, so uh, cool. Jeremy's birthday, wasn't it? Like the last day of Mel, like the last I think it night. May have been yeah, it's like the universe. Yeah. The universe is working properly that with all that shit. So it would appear so. Yup. And I yeah, this was I thought this was cool. After I was done talking to Blake, um, I stepped over here and um. Like Fonzie Glass, I guess. Um, he was in the middle of of doing this two, this sick two piece, and uh, so I thought y'all might like to see. Looks like he's going in there and getting that that glass to kind of spread out a little bit at the top. That can often kind of you know kink out on you a bit. 
just because it's such a smaller area than the bottom, you know, so you're naturally end up with a lot more glass there. Kind of got to distribute it out a little bit, especially if you've not like thinned out your your holes there, you know, before you bring them together. Mm -hmm. Best to not have, you know, crazy thick lips on, on that seal, you know, because then you've just got a shitload of glass at the, at the very top and it's like, ugh, you don't want that. That's I don't know I, you got I've done this on the show and I probably talked about it but it's like to me this is some of the most fun shit when you've got it bridged up and you're just getting a lot of this glass and you're moving it around and it's just it's so interactive and I don't know it's like a really fun video game or something I don't know and I enjoy bringing yeah it it's, two piece it's yeah it's awesome to see it all kind of come as together as one you mm -hmm. know through just tons of heat and a little bit of patience and knowing where to direct that heat and right you know that's uh, crazy man it is it is a very fun process knowing that like molecules of glass you know are like especially with a piece like this where there's like a pattern to it you know and you're not losing the pattern but you know the wall thickness is changing so like what's happening man like molecules of glass are like moving around and chilling out but i don't know it's it's all pretty freaking magical to me even in so much as i you know i understand what's happening but it's still just like wow can't believe i get to do this absolutely yeah so he's got mad heat soaked in there he's letting that come together and then he's holding it down letting the gravity kind of bring it down and then that puff at the right time and it's just boom you've got a nice tight clean shape Yeah, Nick's name's one in the chat says Torch Talk on a Sunday. Yeah, no worries, man. Um, like I said, if maybe if we'd had all this planned out before the last episode, we wouldn't have had to do this. But now it's um, we definitely wanted to make sure everybody who tunes into the show and isn't necessarily um, in the group or active in the group. I know it gets crazy in there sometimes. Sometimes we got to put that on, like, you know, popular posts only or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. type of thing, you know. And uh, trust me, we're, we're cringing sometimes, too. But overall, man, it's, you know, look at what this community is capable of. And I don't know, for the most part, it's it's, it's all love, you know. It's, Absolutely. You got to take a little silliness with the love, you know. It's, you can't expect 15,000 people to be perfect all the time i don't expect y'all to be perfect all the time i hope y'all don't expect me to be perfect all the time it's just hell no no <laughs> <laughs> we humans y'all we're all humans um and speaking yeah. of a human our, one of our favorite humans carrie sohoi sohoi so i'm sorry yeah i uh I'm hi carrie tongue -tied here <laughs> hey carrie yeah. uh <laughs> she wants to know um and she says is this correct or not your torch ticket allows you to set up your torch in our torch tent at me and melt with over a hundred other artists. We'll provide the gases, kiln space, and DJs. Um, uh, you get access to uh, five days packed full of glass blowing demos, seminars, three meals a day, late night snacks by the torch tent, music, full access to the lake, and other summer activities, all with a cabin to sleep in. And that is yeah. all true. Yeah, uh, that was everything and more that we were treated to last year. Um, the bands uh, were really cool, man. They had some really cool music going down, and I hear they're gonna uh, put that near the torch uh, stuff this year, which is kind of cool. Um, and the DJ was pretty good too, man. Kept the room flowing all night long. You know, everything was uh, everything was good, man. Good vibes all around, and um, yeah, it was tight, but. But and there was one thing they wouldn't let me use, which was the trapeze course. Yeah, and I was just that's like, true. God damn it, guys! Why won't you let me break my leg? But it, it looked fun. But uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now I did hear Mike, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think there's some kind of new water thing there like some kind of water obstacle course like an inflatable thing that's on the lake and you can like run through this thing and i don't i, I, don't, know. I don't know exactly what uh like a, an adult bouncy house was what i remember thinking 
as Kevin was describing it. Yeah, I don't, so I don't know what I'm, fun. I don't know what I'm supposed to talk about and what I'm not at this point. But I know that they've done a lot to the property. I think they apparently like added a beach to the lake and shit. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, man, we're gonna be melting glass on the beach, baby. It's gonna be raw. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. It, it's 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 gonna be even better than last year. I really like. I've gotten to hear about a bunch of it because I keep running into the melt guys at events and stuff, and they're 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 always excited about something new that they've added. And uh-huh. so I've gotten to hear a little bit about it, you know, as it's happening. And this footage, man, somebody yeah, all probably like... seen, but uh, I just added it in there because it was so damn dank. Zerial yeah. Shore, y'all, guys, absolutely incredible. Um, anyways, yeah. what were we talking his about? Work, his dot work is incredible. Yeah. Um, yeah, the whole thing is just ridiculous. It's I, I know it's a pretty penny, you know, to hit it once, but man, for what you get in the, for, it's it's man. It's, it's man there's for the just, price yeah for the, for the value dude it just you can't beat it you no, know i don't think no. there's a there's an event a festival or whatever that you can do this at the cost i just i don't see it and maybe i haven't been around the block enough i don't know but not man. with that lineup you know i've seen some nice lineups out there you mm-hmm. know it's similar mm-hmm. events like um AGI, for example, I understand is is really similar. I've never been. I don't know. A, a lot of a lot of torch stalkers were there recently, and and it looked like a lot of fun. I, I'm not trying to be negative or anything. It's just like similar, but the look at this lineup, man. These dudes really went out of their way to put together like just one of the best lineups ever. Where it, it's you know, there's like 20 absolutely amazing people who will be teaching and doing these seminars and. Yeah, it's it's um it's just it's there's like I said there's similar things but I don't know of anything that that's on this level. It's like they it's like they took what has been done and took it you know to a whole new place and that's right. I think they're I think they're they're smashing it. It's just it sounds like you know like we're selling this thing or something. But I guarantee you, anybody you talk to who has been there is gonna be telling you the exact same things. Like oh no, those guys ain't bullshit. That's just exactly what it was. We can't we can't lie to this many people. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like we would be held accountable for sure. Yeah. So like, you Come know, if you go and you have a bad time, that's on you. Yeah, you it's know? not like I don't like, think that's possible. It's not like Firefest or whatever, right? Like that one that was on the island. <laughs> like, uh-huh. Remember that? Like they promised all these people a luxury festival in the island thing or whatever, and they get there and they're feeding them like freaking lettuce sandwiches, and they're like living in a tent city when they were promised like freaking condos and stuff. Oh wow! No, you I didn't, didn't hear, about hear about this. About that. Oh man, uh-huh. look that up. It's like F Y R E Fest, I think. It was I. I'm, it was fucked up. Uh, yeah. Wow. We, yeah, it was in the Bahamas. This was in April and May 2017. Um, and this and, is a glass event? No, or? no, no, no. It sounds like it though, right? <laughs> okay, okay. It was just yeah, like a like a sorry. concert thing, huh? <laughs> It was organized by uh, Fire Media founder Billy McFarland and rapper Ja Rule as a luxury music festival to promote the Fire Music booking app. And they got all these like famous people and models and all this stuff to like, uh, they basically paid them to advertise it, you know, without telling anybody that they were being paid. And um, I'm not kidding. These people got there, dude, and they were, it was like some third world fucked up shit. Like, what the hell? Um, Oh, this is the right. collab with Jeremy and Salt, y'all. He does this technique where he takes a pendant or a cab or whatever and he splits it in half and then recombines it and makes like a, a totally different pendant with it. And it blew my mind. Man, this this thing blew my mind. Yeah, and those of you who have not seen that, it was actually in one of the Melton episodes, but if you've not caught that, you're in for a treat. That shit's up next. So you'll get to see how it's done. But here he is finishing up like that. That uh, that Jeremy is amazing with the dot work, and absolutely, he was there crushing it. You can see some footage of him doing the dot work in the Melton episodes. Actually, it's I think he's in the first one, but um, yeah. So that they got to collab on this one, and uh, that that's what you're seeing is like uh, one that started round, but it was split into two. Now Salt's doing his thing on it. 
Okay, but we were talking about Fire Fist, man. This this shit. I'm trying to find just like a good good explanation here. I put I've put the link uh, for the giveaway, the link that we would prefer you guys to use in the chat room for the YouTube. Um, uh, so you can you can find it in there, copy it and paste it into a browser, and it should work. I think Carrie just confirmed that it may have worked, uh, but make sure you get it all. Um, and I think it should work. What you're going to do is go to that link, donate. Uh, your money, however much you want to spend. Again, $5 gets you one entry into this contest, this giveaway, however you want to, whatever you want to call it. And uh, your $5 goes to feedingamerica.org and is going to generate a ton of meals for people in need. Um, so you're not donating your money to us, you're donating your money to them. And you're going to email, you're going to forward your thank you email after you've donated your money and everything's gone through, uh, feedingamerica.org will send you a, a thank you email saying thank you for your X amount of dollar donation. Um, and you're going to take that email and forward that to torchtalk at gmail.com. Okay? And you got to do this before Monday night at midnight, guys. So get on it. Don't wait around. It didn't work for you either, huh? Oh, there's there's the melt homie Kevin with his big giant beer hand. Yeah, yeah, I love that mug, man. That's, yeah. that's hilarious. <laughs> that's like a huge hand. Yeah. And then this is where he's going to do the pendant split, you guys. So this is actually, like I said, if you haven't caught this in that Melton episode, uh, watch this shit. It's pretty freaking sweet. So, yeah, he's basically going to get it, you know, really controlled heat down the middle. And then he's going to use that knife to kind of lay that stress line into it. And just kind of force it to break where he wants it to break. So here he goes. Mm. Yeah, I got I got it uh, the first time there, guys. So keep trying. If it's not working for you, keep going. Yeah, this was a cool technique, Mike. This uh, this blew my mind because I immediately knew what I was going to use this th style of thing for, which are the bearings on a certain type of telescope that I make, which is, <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, there they, we go. These guys were wandering around documenting. I guess he felt uh, he liked your camera, so he wanted to get a close up of the yeah, it was serial like numbers. Camera on camera action. <laughs> but yeah, uh, what we're missing there, I guess, is like, get in my way, bro. <laughs> but no, um, he just he's continuing to heat it and just laying in that stress line. And then you, uh, yeah, you punny up yeah, onto see, the other side. Exactly. See, that's how he's he's he laid it across that way so that he could pop it with two yep. handles. And I I've done a hot seal every time and it's worked like a charm. I don't know if he's doing a cold seal and then no, it's, waiting until the perfect moment or yeah. But it looks like a hot seal to me. Yeah. If you're salt, you can do just about anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is fucking cool. Anything is possible. All right, so this is like the final, the final stress. Yeah, fuck you, glass. This is, this is, this is all it could take. Yeah. Ta Can't take no more, Captain. Look at that yeah. clean break. Isn't that tight? That, shit, that shit's tight. And people around the room, just everyone gasped. You know, we're all like, shit, we can all use that for something that we do, you know? Like, And, yeah, and Saul was just like, yeah, I'm going to break this apart and weld it back together wrong. You know what I'm saying? And it made... <laughs> uh, shape ever salt was fucking with me at that point uh he said something i was just like you sure man i, I, I won't share this he's like oh, i'm fucking with you man <laughs> yeah he's like he's like don't share that yeah because <laughs> he was you know he was because everybody was just kind of like oh shit you know like that was a cool tech yeah 
That's that salt break tech. Yeah, no, Saul was a blast to kick it with. I imagine that he'll be back maybe in 2018 melt or something, you know? It's just because he was teaching at Corning that he didn't make it back for this one, I think, is what's what's going on. And unfortunately, the same thing sort of happened with uh, Micah Evans. He's he. It turns out that he's teaching at Pilchuck uh, when melt is going on. But, yo, incidentally, he'll be showing that collaboration that he and I did. If any of y'all didn't catch that, I'm going to take a second to big ups. Uh me uh, <laughs> here that is on my instagram actually peep that shit peep that shit yeah me and micah got the opportunity to make this together um but unfortunately he's not gonna make it uh to melt because yeah like i said teaching. that's gonna be sad he was he was gonna be very i mean he he was very fun to hang out with at the last uh at the last melt that was yeah. And, and I tell the story a lot. It's just, it's so funny to me because every time I think of Mike Evans now, I can't get around this vision. Uh, the last night, I think it was, we were all kind of gathered in the, like the kitchen area, um, just hanging out, talking, you know, bullshit and whatever, drinking a few beers. And uh, Micah Evan comes in uh, a little later or whatever. And he's wearing a onesie, yeah. like a black, <laughs> a black onesie with a hood. And he came in with it on, and I was—I just—I started laughing so hard because it—I don't know why. I mean, it's probably not that funny. I mean, it's probably very practical, you know. But it just <laughs> seeing him like that—it was just—it was—it was—it was hilarious to me. And so, you know, uh, got to hang out with him. I actually took a picture with him in that onesie. It's probably somewhere on my Instagram or something. So um, that was a good time. It was—it was a fun time, man. Everybody there was, you know, really cool and excited to be there, you know, and. Uh, we were all having a good time uh, just sharing this medium that we all love so much, you know, and uh, it's, yeah. it's good time. So don't don't wait around, guys. Um, you got no. that great. Yeah, perfect, man. Yeah. So yeah. there it is. Don't, all, don't all forget, the y'all. Yeah. I feel like most of our people got it got into this already, but I you know, just want to make sure y'all don't be coming at us later. Like, what do you mean? We didn't know. We didn't hear about this. <laughs> yeah, you have all day today, guys, and you have all day tomorrow, basically, until Monday night at midnight. Okay, and then uh, it that's basically the the last because we've got to compile some things and and uh, get everything together. Mike's been staying on top of it; he's doing a great job. So thank you, Cheers, Mike, though. for all your hard work, man. You know how um, we do. Yeah, man, and Mike Mike's always on top of his game, so. Uh, it's always a pleasure doing this kind of stuff for you guys. And, you know, we just, we love giving back, man. I mean, because, you know, we started this YouTube channel, uh, it was like three years, is it three years now or two About years? Three years, dog. Three years. Yeah. So it's like, you know, it's been a, it's been a long journey, but it's been a hundred percent worth it. And I've learned probably too much, uh, in my, in my stead here, you know, just sitting in this chair, hanging out with you guys in the chat room, you know, and, uh, you know, so thank you guys for watching and helping us get to a point where people like Mel and, you know, Kevin Beecher and Todd and Sean and all those awesome guys, you know, would, would, would even like have us out there to document the thing and bring one of y'all with us, you know, like how cool is that? You know? Yeah. Um, it's pretty amazing. So, yeah. And hopefully, um, you know, you guys can get y'all's entries in, now, remember, every $5 gets you one entry. Um, so if you want to spend 10 bucks, if you want to spend 5 bucks, if you want to spend whatever, uh, do it. And you're going to be feeding people. So even if you lost, you still win somehow. You know, if you didn't, if you didn't, don't win the, the, the giveaway, you still won because you gave something you had to someone who did not. And that's an awesome, awesome thing. And that should make you feel good, you know. And um, yeah. remember, so, so get. Remember that on Tuesday when we draw that thing and 99 of you or whatever lose because <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> it is what it is. Man. It's like, you know, you almost yeah. feel bad doing something like this because like only one person can win. But man, I mean, even just for five dollars, you're generating over 100 meals and that's nothing to sneeze at or whatever. It's, you know, it's with, yeah, it's to a good organization that's going to do good shit with it and. So, yeah, well, we certainly thought that would be a ni nice way to, you know. Sorry, I can't afford to send y'all a sticker pack, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. I thought this would be a nice way to 
Yeah, I hope it works for everybody. And um, I think somebody in the chat had asked, if I win, do I get to hang out with you guys at Melt? Uh, probably not. But I mean, we might we might stop kidding. by and shake your hand. Uh. Yeah, no, it, 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 I don't know. It, it, it's hard to imagine, guys, but it's like it's really like like a small summer camp. You know, you get to hang out with everybody and, you know, so hell yeah, we're going to be kicking it. It's yeah, definitely. Um, and yeah, we'll we'll pretty much be, you know, like, yo, winner, get over here and then we'll make you do stuff or whatever. Like, mm -hmm. go go get Hold Mike a beer. Yeah. <laughs> 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 nah, just kidding, man. It's yeah, we'll, um, but we'll definitely be kicking it. Um, yeah, man, I can't wait to be there and be kicking it. I know, I know, a lot of you guys, regardless of the, winning this contest or not, are going to be there, and I can't wait. It's just gonna be tight. So yeah, yeah. um, I don't really. Is that, we are we good? Will is that? Yeah, I we think we're better. We can, yeah, don't forget to forward us your email guys so after you give your money give us your email that they send you uh and you're entered to win we're, we're gonna take care of the rest and then on tuesday night like mike said we're gonna draw it live uh and one one of y'all is coming with us to melt that's that's all i've got to say yeah. uh you know the graphic says it all guys it has all the pertinent information uh so yeah um i really really hope you all get in on this so we can feed a bunch of faces and we can make one lucky person the happiest September ever. Uh, and that's all I have, guys. Thank <laughs> y'all you know, so much for watching. Torch and, Talk, uh, make a wish foundation. Make a wish. Yeah. <laughs> make a melt foundation. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys oh, yeah. for watching so much. We really appreciate all you guys on a Sunday afternoon coming and hanging out with us for a little bit. And um yeah, Mike, I guess uh, say your goodbyes, man, and we'll go. Yeah, Kyle D. did have a quick question. Um, oh, Melt, yeah, where's ahead. Melt located? It's in the Poconos, which is in Pennsylvania. So, um, Which is northeast-ish of Scranton, Pennsylvania, if you're curious. Yeah. About an hour, I think, or an hour and a half northeast of uh, Scranton. Yeah. So here we go. Check this out. That's where the Poconos <laughs> are. So kind of. Philadelphia, New York, right here. Not too far away from kind of like the East Coast cities and stuff. Mm -hmm. But yeah, up, up in the mountains up there. and uh, Almost New York, yep. Yeah, so it's, it's not pretty central. I'll be coming up from here. Like, I think you're still showing the... What? The, oh, I am? I think you're still showing the... Yeah, no, okay, no, sorry. No, I was no, like, wait, what? Okay. Right, fuck I was like, stuff. wait, you're showing something? <laughs> yeah, no, there it is. That's what I was talking about. So here it is. Is You know, if you're in Philly area, New York area, you know dc area coming up i'm like right down here like yo, what's yeah that's actually the poconos there? mountains i think there yeah that's what i picked so yeah it's it's like well north of that though okay well close enough i mean it's actually yeah. independent lake camp it's always dangerous pulling up web stuff on the computer it's gonna be like independent <laughs> porn camp you know something like damn it man yeah. why is that in my history <laughs> yeah. no, <I'm> just kidding. <laughs> Um, this is actually the camp, and uh, here, check this out. Experience the. Uh oh. I don't remember all these butterflies. Yeah, this is something new. So I think this is more for the, the summer, the kids' summer camp, which yeah. is what it is normally. But this is what it is, man. I think that's all a be. Oh, there's the cabins. There's where our tents will be for the torches. Random drone footage. I'm Tyler. I'm from Venice, Florida. Child's summer wishes I'm coming true Florida. all over the place. I'm Sasha and I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I'm Savannah. We love I'm it from here. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The ballet I'm program at Melt is excellent. Yeah, the ballet. That was the, yeah the horseback riding. No, that didn't happen. But, uh, <laughs> the guitar lessons from that kid was pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Well, you guys get the idea. But it is neat to see the property or whatever and kind of put a. Whoa! What? Holy shit, what's happening here? This thing turned oh, into a step. <laughs> what the fuck? This is a special yeah, anyway, northeast of Scranton is where this is, so uh, you guys can find it on the map. Independent Lake Camp. <laughs> it's 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 on Google Maps, so you can find it. But yeah, that's where we'll leave you guys. And yeah, uh, let's, get let's... those in. And yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll hang out. Oh yeah, much love everyone. Thanks. Party shouting!